In what could be described as a shocking turn of relationship, a Yoruba man who was described as a dedicated supporter of President Bola Tinubu released a video <laughs> condemning the president and even dared him to arrest him. According to the video, which has gone viral, the man stated that he supported the president and claimed that he was one of those that championed the Emmy Local, it is my turn, crusader by Mr. Tenubu before the last presidential election. He added that he instructed his wife, children, and relatives to vote for the former Lagos state governor during the election. However, he regretted all his actions due to the hardship in the country masterminded by Tinubu and his cabinet. According to him, it is unfortunate that Nigerians are now eating what they see instead of what they like. Since food has become unaffordable for the people, he added that custom officers were not also helping the situation by continuing to impound some goods from Nigerians trying to make a, a living. Speaking in a video recorded in Yoruba, the man said, Tinubu, I condemned all, I commanded all my children, my wife, my students, and where we shall to vote for you. We were shouting it was a Yoruba stone, but a Yoruba got there and life became miserable for everyone. All of you making life difficult for Nigerians will not end well. If you want to arrest me, please come. I am in Ikeri in Oyo State. It could be recorded that it was recently reported that some angry and uh, hungry youth, Yoruba youth, took to the streets of Oshobo, the capital city of Oshun State, to show their displeasure with the hardship in the country. The protesters carried placards with inscriptions such as change the unfavorable policies. Nigerians are suffering. We can't cope again. And we are humans. Stop mistreating the citizens, among others, assembled along the MDS route in the capital city. We well, thank God that what is happening now is happening. Thank God. So that we now learn, we now have to understand that Nigeria is for everybody, not for one particular region. And if at all we should choose leaders, it's not because of the person must be our brother. We should be looking for someone who is competent to do the job. This is a very great lesson to everybody, if at all we, we ever learn. In another news headline, on February 25th, 2024, Nigerian youth are set to observe a, a solemn uh, occasion titled Nigerian Youth National Prayer Day. Cause be unto Mohammed uh, Mahmoud Yakubo. This event organized by Consigned Youth aims to voice their discontent against the, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, accusing him of orchestrating the rigging of the 2023 presidential election. The grievances of these youth stem from their belief that Mahmoud Yakubo's alleged manipulation of the electoral process led to the emergence of President Bola Tinubu, whose administration, they claim, has implemented anti-people policies, resulting in widespread hardship across the nation. In a widely circulated poster on social media, spearheaded by Revolution Now, activist and the former presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, in the 2023 presidential election, Omoyel Shuari, the youth condemned Yakubo for purportedly uh, at shunning of the presidential election to the, to the highest bidder. The poster explicitly accused the INEC chairman of rigging the electoral process that facilitated Tinubu's uh, ascent to power, calling upon 
adherents of various religions and spiritual persuasions to join in a collective condemnation of Yakubu's action. Despite the, the, the favor behind the prayer initiative, Shawari has expressed skepticism regarding his efficiency, dismissing it as a futile endeavor. He has, seen, he has certain that the recourse to causing the INEC chairman is unlikely to yield tangible results and advises the youth to redirect their energies towards more impactful endeavors. Shawari advocates for mass actions as more pertinent uh, means of a affecting change, urging the youth to mobilize for a revolution uh, capable of bringing about the desired liberation from prevailing social political challenges. In, the, in a statement, Shawari emphasized the need for proactive uh, engagement in advocacy and collective action, stressing the importance of galvanizing momentum towards substantive transformation rather than engaging in symbolic gestures with limited efficiency. As tensions mount and frustrations um, simmer among uh, Nigerian youth, the upcoming National Prayer Day stands as a testament to their determination to hold accountable those perceived as complicit in undermining the democratic process. Why differ differing opinions uh, abound regarding the most effective course of action, the resounding call for change resonates as on the finding the force among a generation yearning for a brighter future. Hmm. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.